Welcome to another video of Walk on the Wild Side of the Nine here. And a bit of a wet and windy Blackpool today. Check it out. We've got these bushes blowing all over the place. 40 mile an hour gust today and the rain was coming down pretty hard. Well, it, it wasn't coming down. It was, it was going sideways and <laughs> the wind was that strong. Got a bit of a dry spell at the moment. So I thought I'd just nip out and do a little video for you. Um, yeah, so I'm in this park at the moment, just behind the Solaris Centre. And actually, this is a bit of a hidden gem here in Blackpool. I'll show you a bit more later on, but first I want to say, I haven't forgotten about the picture competition. Yes, I mentioned a competition when I got to 60,000 subscribers. It's a while back now, isn't it? To win one of my photographs in a frame. I have not forgotten about it, but a few things have got in the way since. But I will be doing the competition. And what you need to do to enter the competition is you need to be subscribed to the channel. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button. But anyway, this weather is just a blip, by the way. Yes, uh, I think the weekend's looking pretty good. So if you're coming up to Blackpool, um, we've got a few things. There's always something going on in Blackpool. We've got something going on down the road in Lydon. We've got the 1940s weekend. It's looking pretty good for that. So if you're coming up for that, I think it's going to be pretty good. Oh, I've got a dog, <laughs> a dog running around here. Hello. Yeah, so here's a little look at this park, by the way. I thought I'd give you a look around. I've been here before. A few times. Obviously, you see the roller coaster over there. Look, this is a local park for local people because it's only locals that come here. Yeah, but look at this space, isn't it amazing? What a space. Just think how many houses you could build on here. You know, Blackpool Council, what are you doing? Get some money out of it. <laughs> That dog's having a bit of fun over there. You can see the pleasure beach over there as well. Bit bit wet for the pleasure beach today, but I think I said before, I, I don't mind going on rides in the rain. But look at this here, we've got an orrery. Check it out. I have shown it before. Well, let's have another little look, shall we? We've got so we've got the solar system here, we've got the planets, look at that there. Check it out, yeah. Look at this, we've got Saturn over here, and you can even sit on the planet Saturn. And by the way, if you're looking at Saturn at the moment, you can see it in the night sky. If you look, the rings are almost edge on at the moment. And this is the uh, 2006. In fact, can you see we've got Pluto on there? <laughs> they actually banned Pluto as a planet in 2006, <laughs> just as they were making this here. Yeah, so Pluto, that's Jupiter, by the way, with the great red spot. There's the sun in the middle, of course. Pluto, this must be Pluto. It was banned in 2006. Okay, it wasn't actually banned. It was just demoted as a planet. Pluto was, uh, you'll have to check out my other channel, by the way, Starman. Yeah, I've got another channel. I've been doing that since 2018, two and a half years before I started this channel. I was doing my Starman channel and I've uh, done a couple of videos recently, so you might want to check that out. I'll put a link to it in the description. Um, yeah, it was actually uh, demoted Pluto because it wasn't big enough and it's, it's now known as a Kuiper Belt object and there's hundreds and hundreds of other Kuiper Belt objects. It was just too small to be classed as a planet. Um, so anyway, this park, like I say, I don't even know the name of it. What's the name of it? Is there a name for this park? Can anybody tell me if there's a name for this park here? Because Harrow Place, Harrow Garden, we're on Harrowside. Now, Harrowside is the road that comes down that bridge over there. That's where the Armenian kebab house is. I did a review there, the best kebab house in Blackpool. And it kind of splits into two. So it's, it, there's, a, there's a north side, and just behind me here is a, a south side. And then we've got those swanky flats there, the coastal points, coastal point flats. I tell you what, if I keep doing this YouTube, um, you never know. <laughs> if I do pretty well, I might be able to afford one of them in the future. <laughs> I'll keep trying. You know, there's some quite swanky hotels around here. That's the headlands on the corner. I believe that's to be developed that. They've also got Harrisside Suites. Uh, number one, that looks posh. I bet the big one won't be running today. It's probably too windy, yeah? Uh, it's probably a risk of it valleying, and that's when a roller coaster, when, when the wind slows it down and it ends up uh, going down a hill and not being able to get up the next one, yeah? 
Yeah, so very few people know about this park here because nobody hardly comes down this part of Blackpool Promenade. But there is one big reason why people do. People do come down here. They just don't come into this park, but they do come just up here over the road on the promenade. And I, I think you know why. I'm going to show you now. One big reason, and that's that over there. The mirror ball. The Blackpool mirror ball. That's what pigs people down this part. If it wasn't for the mirror ball, there really would be nobody down here. And we'd have all this to ourselves. Look, here's a look at the front of the Solaris Centre. It used to be called the Solarium. Built around 1930, as you can see. Look at that deco design. It's got a cafe in there as well. The cafe's at the back. You might want to check it out if you come into Blackpool. And they've also got these uh, wind turbines. Now that one's not turned on at the moment, but I have shown these a few times on the channel before. And when the wind's up, it's frightening. It's, it is, it's, it's quite frightening. That wind is really getting up now that I'm on the front. Look at this one here. That one is, that one's really going around that one. But I'll tell you what though, when these things go flying round in the high winds, it, it is quite frightening, yeah. Anyway, let's have a quick look at the front of the Solaris Centre. I will go in there sometime. Don't forget they do have a cafe in there as well. I wanna, they actually look after the pots here a bit as well, look. They painted them red and got some proper flat. Look, we've got the heebie-jeebies in there as well. Check it out. Anyway, let's have a little look over, see what's going on the beach. I think the tide's out, so. If the tide was in, it would be coming right over the sea wall. That's a bit of a jungle here, doesn't it? These are called formiums, by the way, formiums. They do grow quite well by the sea, but they can get a bit straggly though. Yeah, it can get a little bit straggly, but here it is, folks. World famous Blackpool Mirror Ball. Yeah, so this part of Blackpool Promenade is quite, I've mentioned it a few times on the channel before, you know hardly anybody ventures further south than the Pleasure Beach just up there. I mean, there are a few hotels down this way. We've got the Hampton by Hilton just over there, yeah. But uh, you know the council, councils are known for wasting loads of money on stupid art projects and that sort of thing. And most of the time they get it wrong, don't they? In fact, nearly all the time they get it wrong, don't they? But this is one art project which they got right. Maybe not all of it because this is part of the new promenade show and a lot of the art projects down here have been removed since they pull up um, around 2005 or 2006 or something like that. But this mirror ball here is definitely a success because it's very, very popular. It brings people to this part. Like I say, it doesn't really encourage them to go over the road to that part there. But like I said, that's a local part for local people. But uh, definitely the Blackpool mirror ball is a massive success. Now I am filming this on the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 camera at 4 K 60 frames per second. Let me know what you think of the quality. I don't normally record at such a high frame rate, but I thought I'd just try it for this video. It does use up quite a lot of memory, but like I say, if the, if the tide was in, it would be whipping up over here. I've shown it a few times on the channel before where you get the waves whipping up. It's a fantastic place to watch the waves right here with this ramp here and the sea wall. Notice how the sea walls are different design. We've got like a sort of concrete hexagon structure down here. And when the waves come in here, they whip up there and you do get some spectacular waves there. It looks pretty awesome actually. But as you can see, the tide is, uh, well, I think it's on the way out, yeah. It, it, it's quite it's about halfway out maybe, maybe a bit further, I don't know, I can't tell. But this is how it looks. Just listen to the sound. 
So there you go, just a quick video for you today, uh, basically just to show you what's going on in Blackpool. The weather. Like I say, it's just a blip this and it's looking pretty good for the weekend. So if you're coming up to Blackpool this weekend, I think it's going to be pretty good. And don't forget, I will be having the picture competition. I haven't forgotten about that. So just make sure you're subscribed. Anyway, if you like this video, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I'll see you again on the next one.